tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. For the Lord is great and highly to be praised. We offer this morning's Eucharist for the repose souls of Rita Ko, Lucas Chin, Eugene Ong, Rosalind Nathan, Anthony Yana Pragasam, Aloysius Anthony, Madam Mary Tangam. We pray for the special intentions of Helen John Pereira, Pauline de Cruz, Helen John Pereira, and all those who celebrate their birthday blessings. For Jessica Chong, for Leo Pui Chung Hee, and for G.K. Su, and in thanksgiving to John Ng. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we celebrate, we commemorate the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus, bishops. As we thank the Lord for the gift of these two wonderful men into the church, let us acknowledge the gift of our faith, the response of our faith in the times that we may have failed to live to the invitations. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to and you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you who adorn saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. From Paul, appointed by God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus, in his design to promise life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, dear child of mine, wishing you grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and from Christ Jesus our Lord. Night and day, I thank God keeping my conscience clear and remembering my duty to him as my ancestors did. And always I remember you in my prayers. I remember your tears and long to see you again to complete my happiness. Then I am reminded of the sincere faith which you have. It came first to live in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. And I have no doubt that it is the same fate in you as well. And that is why I am reminding you now to fan into a flame the gift that God gave you when I laid my hands on you. God's gift was not a gift. God's gift was not a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love 
and self-control, so you are never to be ashamed of witnessing to the Lord or ashamed of me for being his prisoner. But with me, bear the hardship for the sake of the good news, relying on the power of God, who has saved us and called us to be holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Give the Lord, you families and people, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of his name. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in his place. He will judge the people in fairness. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I'm sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be, Peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer. For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, The kingdom of God is very near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate, we commemorate today the memorial of Timothy and Titus, collaborators, companions, disciples of Paul. Timothy was very much entrusted to the church in Ephesus, while Titus was seen very much in the church in Crete. And they, they worked in the vineyard of the Lord, in the harvest, as the gospel text tells us today, in the harvest of the Lord. Yesterday we, we had the whole epic conversion story of Paul, how Paul went through this transformation of his life and he became an apostle of Christ 
And today, Paul shares this mission mandate to his companions, Timothy and Titus. This past days, we've been, we've been speaking at depth about this encounter of Andrew and Peter and James and John and Paul and Timothy and Titus and how they are reaching out in that mission of the kingdom of God, spreading that kingdom of God. Because the harvest is great and the laborers are few, as Jesus tells us today. They are all out there. Yesterday's gospel text was, the response was, go out to all the world and proclaim the good news. And today is proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all his people. It's about sharing that experience that you have been touched and encountered with God and how we spread that gospel to one another. To me, what is interesting when I sat with the readings today is how Paul, having experienced this love of God in his heart, affirms, strengthens the church, especially with these two individuals, Timothy and Titus. He tells Timothy so much today, I thank God for what lies inside you, for the grace of God that lies in you. And I thank in a very special way the gift of your mother, Eunice, and your grandmother, Louise, who stirred this faith in you and brought this faith in you. But so much is in your family. Continuing this mission, he tells Timothy, but what is most important as I look at the text today is that I continue, Timothy, to pray for you every day. We call this intercessory prayer. To continue to pray for someone. That's how we look at the communion of saints today. To pray. How often do we fail to pray for the church? How often do we pray for the leaders? We pray for those who are in the mission field. We pray for those in our family. Intercessions intercessory prayer to continue prayer and Paul tells to Timothy today I encourage you I invite you to stir to fan the flame that's inside you you have that gift Timothy he encourages Timothy so much to move on in that faith let us continue this day and this week as we encounter Christ to pray for others, to invite others to fan that flame, to stir that flame of the spirit that lies in each one of us. Because ultimately we just have one thing in mind. The kingdom of God is, is so near to us. It is in us. It's within us. The kingdom of God is within us. We need to go out and to proclaim the wonders of God to all the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which it is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, 
and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart. True Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Timothy and Titus, and Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command we turn to pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, power, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins upon the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. to the world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish us in the faith, taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of St. Timothy and Titus. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful Father, Father source, source of healing, cast the, the light of health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, that their work use knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively, with compassion and understanding, in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day and do take care. Same to you, Father. Father.